Hey, Ken, it's Steve Rosenbaum. I'm coming across your uh, post in, in Best with a uh, showing us your link and asking for some response, and I want to give that to you. First of all, congratulations on taking action. This is fantastic. You've done a wonderful job. I'm so glad that you've put all this up, and you've really gone in. To, you, I see a lot of the steps here, so that's great. But I, I want to walk through a few things, maybe a couple tweaks, in my opinion, might even get you better results. Of course, if it's new, we don't have results yet to even test. Maybe these are some things you want to test. So first of all, let's go take a look here. Uh, do you think of your website as a website or a marketing site? That could be a problem. Now, number one, this image right here, I don't know if that's the standard image that goes with that or not. I don't like it. To me, it looks like a broken link that makes me think that A, there may be a problem, um, maybe this isn't the photo that you intended. If it's not, then you need to look into how to control that. And one thing also you should be aware of is this little tool right here. Let me pull it up. It's in my, uh, it's somewhere here in my Evernote amongst my tens of thousands of notes. But let's look up um, OAuth. Oh, wait, I'm going to have to go to O-Note, uh, all notes. Uh-oh. Come on, don't freeze on me now, Evernote. Give me a second here. Hang on, Ken. Okay. OAuth. And this is it. Debugger. Facebook for developers. Right here. This is a site that you should bookmark. Developers, Facebook, Tools, Debug. And when you go here and you put your site in here, Let's copy this URL. Let's go over here and put this in here and press debug. And it's going to show you what that looks like. Now, if you change this image, okay, and there are ways to do that. So right here, this is saying the image is a chain. Okay, it looks like you did upload this. So if that's what you are intending, okay, um, that's all right. Uh, to me, it looked like it might have been a generic one. If that's what you are intending, great. If you do change it out, then you want to go to this debug and you want to make the change inside your website and then go here and say scrape again. This will force Facebook to go there and empty the image that it already has there, empty the cache and serve up the right one. And that's how you check to make sure that everything is looking just right. Now let's go back here and um, let's follow your link and go to your website. I like this a lot. This is this is a very nice article. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. I do wonder if it's grabbing enough. There's a lot here. Nothing wrong with having a lot, but we need to organize that in a way that's going to get the most readers. This is a very, very long paragraph. I would break this up into two or three paragraphs. There's your image right there. So I guess that is the image you're using. Um, so you may want to scrap the first thing that I said. Maybe you, you are uh, doing that the right way, and I just didn't realize that was the image you were using. Okay, now, um, so looking at this, I like it. I do like that you've got lots of headlines. That's really, really good. So all that is nice, and um, it, it's a great article. It's got great content. All that is fantastic. What I do think you need to do is bring forward the pains sooner. And a lot of times that can be done with a question. A lot of times some of the content that you put in here would be very effective asking it as a question and moving it up to the top of the, uh, of the article. For instance, before you can turn your website into a marketing site, you must answer these two critical questions. Well, this is great stuff right here. This is the type of stuff that gets people's attention if you were to move this to the top and make the, the article about, are you making these two critical mistakes? If so, you must read this article, okay? So questions are powerful. Mistakes are powerful. Fear of doing something the wrong way are par powerful. So this to me right here is some of the most attention-grabbing stuff I see in the, in the article, and maybe you can move that up to the top to get 
real attention. Now also, I want to show you something that I bookmarked. You know, I love Thrive Themes, and let's see if I could find this real quick. In fact, let me pause the video just so I could find this real quick.